if the Plancks are hubs of information in a network, then the information that's going through the hubs has to be sub Planckian, right? Just like if the protons are hubs, you know, that connects, you know, through the network, then the information packets would be Planckian size, right? Yeah. So sub Planckian unit, of course, the Planck must be made out of something smaller, <laughs> you know? Um, so yes, the, the speed of light limitation is only in relationship to our linear uh, physical relationship to the universe. Um, in the, in the non-local, um, this, so, so when you have entanglement, you have wormhole, so you have, and that's becoming established in the mainstream. It's called ER equals EPR, so you can look it up. ER stands for Einstein uh, Rosen. So Einstein Rosen is basically wormholes equals EPR. Um, EPR or Einstein Podolsky Rosen, which uh, is uh, entanglement. So, so the theory is basically saying entanglement occurs because there's wormholes that connects Planck size wormholes. Well, if you have a Planck size wormhole, then the information is sub Planckian, you know, uh, because uh, it, and, and if it's sub Planckian, it's instantaneous to us because if it's faster than the speed of light and we're measuring with the speed of light, it's gonna look instantaneous. <laughs> Right, um, so um, there's still probably delay, but the delay is beyond what we can measure since we're measuring with devices that are limited by the speed of light. All right, so uh, it appears instantaneous to us. It's definitely fast enough for us to go across the universe very rapidly. So it's very useful um but uh but this is a very good thought it's very you know that is definitely a conclusion i came to um but um but it's difficult to write physics on it because in general it's taboo to talk about anything sub in physics so you know or something faster than the speed of light.